So I got to ask this question. How do I set up a Google Voice phone number? I'm going to show you how to do that as I do it from scratch in this video. So let's go and get started. So first of all, you got to be logged into your Google account, whether it's a Gmail account or a Google Workspace account. Now I'm logged into my business partner's uh, Google Workspace account. And I went to Google and I'm going to type in the word voice uh, from a Google search and look what comes up, Google Voice. I'm going to click on that. So the first thing you have to do is you have to select a Google Voice phone number. Now, interestingly enough, I do remember that this account used to have a Google Voice number. I could reclaim that or let's claim another one. Let's, let's do Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Boom. There's some Winston-Salem, North Carolina phone numbers. Let's do the 283-6217. I'm going to select that. Now it wants to verify. To complete setup and start using Google Voice, you need to verify your existing phone number. It wants to existing Google, uh, excuse me, a uh, cell phone number. I'm going to do verify. Now let's see if it's going to let me do it. 336-918-5526. I'm going to do send code. Now it should send me a code. I got my cell phone right here. And yes, I have a code. 255626. 255626. Verify. 3369185526 is connected to another Google Voice account. Claiming this number will remove it from the other account and any forwarding will be canceled. Now that's what I need to do. So I'm going to have to claim it and I'm going to figure out a way to put it back. But I'm going to claim it. It's been claimed. I'm going to hit finish. Now that clearly tells me that you can only have one cell phone number on each Google workspace, uh, excuse me, each Google voice number. So let's go finish this. Now the next things that you need to do, now you can see this Google voice account used to have some calls on it. Had a whole bunch of calls on it on this before. And so, but that's all because of the old number. The new number is a 6217. That's the number I've done, okay? So now what I need to do is complete setting this up. And you do the setup right here under settings. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to do some basic stuff. The basic stuff you're gonna need to do is do you wanna forward messages to email? Yes or no, I encourage you to do that. It's going to ask questions about making calls, outgoing, anonymous uh, caller ID, which I, I'm not a fan of myself. Call forwarding. Do you want to forward these calls to your cell phone? I'm going to say no. I don't want to do that. Uh, custom call forward. I can create specific rules about how to handle specific callers. I can get an email alert for missed calls. I can screen calls, which means it puts their caller has to use their name to be able to tell you that they're calling. I can have incoming call options if I want to. I can enable that. Show my Google Voice number as caller ID, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're going to want to create a greeting. Here, this is probably her old greeting. You're definitely going to want to create a greeting. You can get the voicemail sent to you via email. Again, I recommend that. I also recommend the transcript. You can do call listening. So as they're leaving a voicemail, you can listen to that. That kind of, sounds kind of weird to me. Um, and then on and on and on. The only reason I would say do payments is I use my Google voice number for international calling. It's relatively inexpensive. And I add some money to my account. Uh, and so I think it usually has about 10 bucks on it. And filter spam. And, and then again, I also recommend you understand the privacy and the terms of service. Once you've gone through this list, you can come back and you're pretty much done. You can make phone calls by just typing in a number over here and dialing. You can answer the call if someone calls. Let me call it real quick and see what happens. The phone's ringing and I can answer it if I want to right now. You can also, from Google Voice, you can send text messages. There's your voicemail if you have voicemail coming in. And uh, there's spam messages if you want to uh, pay attention to anybody's spam. And so it's really pretty easy. The most important things are this. A, make sure you have a cell phone you can connect it to. 
B, you want to pick a phone number, ideally, that's in the region that you're in. And then the last big thing is you want to pay attention to the settings. Make sure your settings set up properly. By the way, one more tip is you should make sure you have your audio settings turned on right. You want to make sure that you're choosing the right microphone. Oop, I have to allow. Choose the right microphone. Choose the right speakers. Choose the right speakers for ringing. So that's set up properly. And you're good to go. You can start using Google Voice as a phone number. I use it as my business phone number. I'm Teddy, Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful for you.